Paula Sheridan, and I'm here with my husband, Ken. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome Good to, to Page see you. Turner Awards Ceremony. Good to see you. Okay, so let's crack on with um, our first award. And our first award that we're going to tackle is going to be the Screenplay Award. And that brings me to a very special guest of ours tonight, Paul Michael Glazer. Paul, good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, thank you very much for having me. I'm honored. What a what a what a collection of writers you got here. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's it's uh, it's 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 very impressive. Uh, I have to say, and I mean, it's as as you've as you've noticed, you know, they're they're, they're writers and authors from all across the spectrum of of yeah. writing, from from screenplay to to manuscripts, etc. And and a lot of new writers a lot of, yeah. starting out on their journey. So they're going to be very inspired by having you here tonight to talk to us. Yeah. And, and Paul, I dare say you've seen quite a bit of writing in your time and you've, you've probably observed good and, and not so good. But if you have any ideas and thoughts uh, that, and observations you could share with us tonight and, and our writing audience about, you know, the pursuit of excellence and what, what you think separates <laughs> the very good from the good, that'd be fantastic. All right. All right. Well, you know, I, I uh, among other things, I've also, you know, I've written a number of screenplays. I've written two books. I'm on a third right now. So um, to all of you writers, uh, I am really a fellow writer. So I understand an awful lot of what you're uh, uh, what you struggle with. And it is a struggle. <laughs> Let's make no bones about it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> You know, as I as I look around the world today, and I look at the uh, the movies that come out and uh, the, the the books, and I there's been a kind of a big uh, shift in our in our culture. I think we feel it more in America than you feel it in Europe, because I think Europe has a greater history, cultural history to draw on a bit more of a tradition <clears throat> of writing, uh, more of a story to, to, to do uh, more history to, to uh, call on. And I'm keenly aware that, that storytelling is uh, 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 being threatened in our, in our world today. Uh, short attention spans with people, uh, <clears throat> need for instant gratification. Uh, and so why I think that's important and storytelling is important is because I really, I've always believed in my acting and my directing and my writing, producing, and in my painting, I find that storytelling is a sacred thing. It's a sacred thing. It's the way we pass on our information to each generation. And, uh, not just the information about how we live and what it looks like, it feels like, but also the the uh, uh, the objective and 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 goal of storytelling. Uh, I remember once reading that storytelling was all about the affirmation of our ability to survive, uh, our ability to deal with our fear. And uh, that the, the emotional journey you go through when you are uh, in a story and, uh, and you, 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 your protagonist experiences uh, all the trials and tribulations of life and is uh, confronted with uh, his, his or her own fear, <clears throat> then the journey of the protagonist to overcome that uh, sends us a message of reassurance uh, that another human being can do this uh, so that we don't feel alone, so that we feel connected. Uh, as I said earlier, storytelling in our, in our uh, world today is uh, uh, it's hard to come by. It's hard to come by a good screenplay or a good book. Uh, the reason is because as I mentioned, I think that there's a lot of uh, the, the shorter attention span that people have, the need for people to 
not take the journey as much as feel the reward or feel the, the result. Uh, and uh, so it's, a, it's quite a challenge to, to, to write uh, something that uh, at the same time grabs the a reader's interest and also involves them and gets them, uh, gets them committed to the journey. Uh, of the protagonist and of, the, of the, all the characters, and and that's important. I mean, if you look at religion, you look at the Bible, you look at all, all the, the Bibles for all the religions. They're all about storytelling. They're all about storytelling. And as a matter of fact, you could go to the you can go to the extreme and say that when you walk down the street and say hello to somebody, you're telling a story. It's a very brief story, but it's a story. It's a story because you are putting out and receiving, you're putting out stimulus and receiving a response. Uh, so I can't emphasize enough how important I think it is to, uh, to really nurture and develop and protect the whole craft of, spirit, uh, of, of, of writing, of storytelling. Uh, if there's anything that we are in jeopardy of losing on this planet, it's our humanity. Uh, our our, our uh, empathy towards ourselves and towards others, our uh, ability and need to share and to say we're all here together and we're all and we're all one. It's a very, very, very high objective and a very sacred one. And I, I feel it's very, very important in that screenplays become movies and the visual medium has certainly surpassed people's uh, 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 use uh, in, in which they can uh, uh, experience stories. The, and, 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 and uh, unfortunately or fortunately, or either one, the screenplay is just a blueprint it's just a, it's because as you make the movie it changes it always changes it changes when you add the music it changes when you edit it film is like that it's a very liquid uh and very fluid uh, uh experience that uh, that needs a really strong and specifically designed core intent it needs it needs that integrity, so that when <clears throat> the cinematographer comes in, or the director comes in, or the actors come in, or whoever comes in, and they interpret your words, they get the message. They get it, and so they can go to their core place and create from there, and contribute to what the intention of the piece is. But that means that we have to be extremely clear about what our intention is and, and, and our execution of it. Uh, uh, we can't protect the words in our screenplay, but what we can do is we can use our words to communicate a story and the intention of that story. And well, obviously the flavor, color, taste, and all the other wonderful things that words help us accomplish when we describe things. Uh, my experience, I never really succeeded as a screenwriter. I went from director uh, and I got tired. I wanted to be an auteur and, and I don't think I was emotionally mature enough at the time to realize that. So I, as I said, uh, uh, so my, I was a director for hire and then I decided I produced and, and co-wrote my last film, and then I decided I was going to just write. And I wrote, 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 and then I wrote a screenplay that didn't have the, uh, they didn't have the technology, the time to animate the properties of light. And so I ended up writing it as a book because it involved my whole journey of, uh, of uh, life, death, loss, and helplessness, everything else. So I've, I've gotten to experience, uh, you know, a fair amount of the, uh, of the, uh, the journey of a writer. Uh, and, uh, and, and it's uh, seldom 
given the uh, the the uh, appreciation and the plaudits that that are required. I mean, the the, the writer is uh, is the beginning, and um, and so I I have to say that in retrospect, the most important thing I always say they give the Oscar for perseverance. Now, <laughs> some of my my I persevere at cooking, at cooking cutting, and they'll give them an Oscar. <laughs> but the point is, is that it's the perseverance. It's staying the course. It's respecting and honoring your commitment to stay the course through all your trials and tribulations as a human being. And uh, when you look at a finished screenplay, whether it's well executed or not that well executed, or whether it's uh, about something you think is important or it's trivial, it's someone's effort to communicate. And it needs to be seen that way and heard that way. Uh, and um, uh, so, you know, when you get all the elements together and they all mesh, then you get yourself a brilliant screenplay. Um, so I have to say that if I were to give any advice, I'd say, <clears throat> Just stay with it. Stay with it. Momentum is everything. <clears throat> so if the momentum includes a habit of writing every day, no matter what, so be it. You need to stay committed. You need to do it. And I have um, far less experience at it than I'm sure many of these writers. Uh, I, I respect, I can't say how much I respect that commitment. And, uh, and, uh, and I, uh, I, I applaud all of you and I applaud uh, your effort. And, and uh, I'm very happy to be here to contribute my voice and um, hopefully make this a better world because we have a lot of fear in this world and we have uh, uh, a lessening degree of hope so our artists carry that torch, and um, and and it's, I think, extremely important. So that's my spiel for the morning. That's a lovely message. Thank you. Yeah, Paul. That's listen, really thanks so Thank you. much for those very profound words. Look, I mean, I don't want to turn this into a workshop, but you you, <laughs> you mentioned how. Uh, storytelling is under pressure and, and there's values creeping in, short attention spans, et cetera. Do you think writers and screenplay writers in particular, they need to shift their approach in any way to address those sorts of pressures and trends? You know, it's a really good question because I find myself saying, well, if storytelling is on the wane in terms of society, culture, uh, then what's taking its place? or what is the story that's being told? Unfortunately, with the advent of the internet and computers and all of that business, the trafficking in information, information becomes the story. The trafficking, the giving and taking of information. The young person takes out their phone and they text the friend and the friend texts back. That's their story. And because the friend texts back and it shows up on this person's phone and they got that response, it's very gratifying to them. So, you know, one of the, one, uh, what I find, it's funny because I'm, I'm working on a project right now and I'm trying to imagine, it's a screenplay, and I'm trying to imagine how I can best really grab the audience with a, a visual or, 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 a, a, or a situation and then keep them interested and let it and, and, and let let them be hooked and and, and 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 paying attention you know the first five minutes of a movie are free uh people don't don't realize that but it's it's free in other words you can do just about anything you want and the audience will go with it after five minutes they'll start tell, telling you you're full of shit but <laughs> The point is, is that you have that time. Screenplay writing, you know, if you're dealing with imagery and you're dealing with how people relate to imagery these days, 
and what it provides for them. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, as I mentioned, the short attention span, it becomes a real haiku. It becomes a real, real interesting problem as to how to get people involved. You know, one of the sadder jokes in, in, in this industry is the executives don't read. They don't read. And if they do read, the odds are the 99% of them can't see in their imagination. They don't, they're not creatively endowed. They are more about their job and survival in the corporate atmosphere. So, you know, how, how, do, we, how do we hook them in? And we have to be careful that that hook isn't more important than what it is we're trying to say. You know, that results in all the titillation that we see and the exploitation of violence and uh, uh, sexual exploitation and all of it. Spectacle, spectacle, spectacle. It's almost like people feel this need to experience spectacle and let that be enough. Unfortunately, that's like Chinese food. You, you eat it and you're gonna be hungry in a couple hours. It doesn't really satisfy, spectacle doesn't. It, it, it can uh, use up your time, make you feel like you've had a, a bit of a journey, but it's not really that journey that we've all had, or most of us have had, when I, we've been told the story and it really moved us and helped us live our lives. So the challenge to write a screenplay right now is enormous. It's enormous because A, it's very expensive until we get to the point where there's enough equipment out there and people find ways to, to, uh, to, to get around the cost of this. But still in all, there's such a dependency on, 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 uh, on electronics and on, on computer generated images and, you know, and, and uh, that, 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 that it, the word, as I was raised to regard the word and literature and, and, and film and theater, everything, the word has lost a lot of its importance or relevance. It doesn't, it doesn't go in and vibrate with the same kind of, I mean, it does for some of us, yes, but we're trying to communicate with all the others. With, with out there, we're trying to, tell a story, make the world a better place, uh, help us deal with this uh, enormous uh, amount of fear and helplessness we're experiencing on the planet right now. I, so it's, 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 it's and in one respect, it's like a thankless task. My girlfriend is a poet. And in some ways, I think it's easier for her because she gets to deal with the extracted experience and describing the extracted experience, you know, it's like it's like a painting. So uh, an artist who does abstract paintings is is communicating from the subconscious, and uh, and and asking you to view their work with the subconscious, from your subconscious, not from an, um, a, a place of intellect, a place of well, what does that look like, or what does that mean, or what does it understand? No, it's all about feel. What am I feeling when I see that? And that's it. That's it. And that's not trivial. It's not anything small. Um, I feel like I'm wandering far afield from your question. But I think that I think that this challenge of how to capture the the gestalt that we're all in this <clears throat> this technocracy this. Uh, this, this world of uh, diminishing patience and people's inability to sit still with themselves and, 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 and sit with the quiet, sit with the fear and all of that, that is going away. And if there's one person in the, in the, uh, uh, in the world of the arts, it's the writer who really understands that because you know, it's, uh, you're, you're your own audience for the majority of the time. And uh, you know, you don't, you know, it's a you, it's a very solitary experience, but it's demanding a very communal response, and uh, and 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 that's a, a neat trick. Did I even answer your question? 
<laughs> I think you did, you did. more. I think you, you did. did more than did. that, Paul. Yeah. yeah. Listen, Paul, your your experiences and and observations are you know are fascinating, mm. and I mean I, I know you know we we will get on to the awards and the handing out of the the winners, but I'm sure we've got a lot of our audience say no 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 let him talk this is good we we want a bit more we just want to hear from Paul <laughs> yeah but Paul well, that's that's look that's fascinating and I'm sure you know our writers got you know a lot out of that you know that much broader view of writing and how it works um so thanks so much for taking you know the time to share all of that with us it was it was absolutely I, I, fantastic I wish I could <clears throat> I wish I could do more than share that uh, you know, uh, it's it's so important that uh, that uh, I think for any of us, it's just in life, it's really important to try to uh, achieve as much awareness as possible, and really honor ourselves and in, in our ability to uh, deal with life, death, fear. Um, you know, the the notion that nobody may read this. Nobody may care. So that brings us to the next point, which is so important, which is process is everything. Getting in the process, as in like a meditation, you get in the process and you, you're, you're experiencing and discovering things about yourself. And hopefully from a point of view that it's experience that we all feel in life, you know, those classic experiences, uh, uh, universal experiences and and just understanding that and it's a hard thing to do that when we are creating we're the act of creating the act of in the process that act contributes a tremendous amount of harmony to the universe to the world around us even if it doesn't get made as a film even if it doesn't get published as a book, if you're, you're sitting down every day and you're praying, you're meditating, you're looking into the mirror and trying to find a truth and experience the truth. So I know it's hard for us to see it and say, because you know, you gotta pay the bills, <laughs> you gotta live. You know, it's awfully easy to say to say it and not have to worry about those things. But it's also important to understand that relationship to writing and that process and that relationship to yourself as an artist is really important so that you understand why you're doing it. The most important thing I've always felt about anything I work on is I ask myself, why do I need to tell this story right now? What's so compelling? What am I trying to understand? What am I trying to figure out? What am I going to learn? What am I? So it's a lot of questions and it's a lot of curiosity and, and it's a journey and it's a search. And when we can understand that, that that's what we're doing there, we're not trying to get a movie made. We're trying to tell a story with as best craft as we can so that the people who make movies you know, to see it and read it and get it and be moved by it. Well, Paul, listen, you know, that, that's, that's fascinating. And I, I mean, I'm not the writer in this family, Paula is, but I know all of our writers out there have got to, they're going to draw so much from, uh, you know, the, the inspiration you would have given them with, with, you know, with, with that breadth of view that you hold on the, you know, the creative process that is writing. So Paul, listen, thanks very much for taking, you know, more time than we could have hoped for to hear your views and thoughts on that. So My it pleasure. was absolutely fascinating. Thanks so much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. I used to say, I used to talk about this a lot and it's a kind of a, it's, it's a nice image. Uh, imagine, imagine two prehistoric men sitting around a fire at night and all around them, it's dark with only the noises of the animals that want to come to eat them. And they're petrified and they're shaking in their boots. And one of them picks up a rock and he hits another rock with it. And it's causal. It makes a sound. It feels pretty good. He does it again. 
does it again. But the fourth time he does it, the other man goes, uh, he grunts. And the other guy hits the rock and he grunts. Uh, grunt. Uh, 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 uh. Well, that gets him through the night. Now it's a thousand years later and there's 30 families and a huge cave and they've all eaten too much saber-toothed tiger. And then nobody wants to sit up and hit rocks and grunt. They want to go to sleep. So they choose somebody to do it for them. And that person becomes the storyteller, the rabbi, the priest. That's what that person does. And I always thought that was a really kind of cool image. I, I, let me just say to all the, 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 the writers, thank you. And thank you folks for just, you know, I, I, it's really nice to be included. You know, people say, well, you, what's your next directing project? And I say, well, you know, in this society, um, ageism is a problem. And, and because most of the executives of the studios don't want someone older than them who knows more than they do. So <laughs> I really appreciate the opportunity to share with you what I've learned and what I'm studying and what I'm trying to find out myself and uh, from my, my years of experience. So thank you. Congratulations to everybody. God bless us and keep us writing. Thank you so much, Paul. Super. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank God you, bless. Paul. Thank you Bye -bye. very much. Goodbye. Bye.